I'm a public servant. I always say it very proudly. I'm a business manager at a government secondary school. Always throw in the government. My name is Elaine Capps. I'm the business manager at Warmbro Community High School, which is part of the Department of Education Secondary Schools. My job entails anything to do with non-curricular issues and it's the finances, the buildings, the facilities, the security of the school, support staff. We try and cover a lot of areas in the school to support the school and the kids and the teachers. Mostly what she's doing is, is doing that behind the scenes work to allow everything else to work. It's through Elaine that all the computers are working. It's through Elaine that the library is functioning. It's through Elaine that the, the educational aides are, are actually supporting the kids in their education. I was a foundation staff member, so I've been here from the day that the first child walked through, and that was 16 years ago. I feel as though I know every stone in the school. I feel as though I've made a decision on just about every component of the school, even down to the bricks and where they're going to go. She's been the glue for this school in so many ways, and there's so many people have so much loyalty to her. I love the interaction with the people. Hi, how are you going? I love the fact that no day is the same, that every day you're out doing something different. I mean, she manages 45 people and they're across an incredible range of occupations from computer technicians. She has come up with good ideas all the time. To gardeners. She backs you 100%. To educational aides. She's totally awesome at her job and I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have her at the helm. It doesn't matter how young or how old someone is, she relates to them on that level, you know, and she just brings her, her goodness, her persona, her character, you know, just comes out. I have worked in the, the private sector and when I came into the Department of Education and got into the schools, I just found it so much more humane. I, I think working with the young people also in having that rapport with some of the students. You know, I just love that in the morning when you open the gate. They're just gorgeous because as they go through, they'll say, thank you, miss. You know, and it just makes a really good start to the day because you are dealing with really good kids. She's a hero because she gets everything done and she goes above beyond what is in her job criteria to get it done. There's two levels to Elaine. She can be as tough as nails when she has to be. You say are frightened of me at times. There's a bit of a joke around the school about the fear that goes through someone if they lose a key. Oh, people are terrified of me in keys. Is that what you heard? <laughs> and I must confess, on one occasion, uh, I actually lost the master key for the whole school. The principal lost his keys. My palms were sweaty. We've had so many incidents of where Keys have been put down and students have taken them and I've had to re-key buildings. There was a steely look on her face. And I just gritted my teeth and said, when, how, and what were you doing at the time? She's got this front that's strong and powerful, but we all know that ticking away really is a, a really, really gentle heart. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> the profile of a public servant is that of a bludger or a person that doesn't provide the service that they're meant to provide, but I have found that the, my, my interaction with public servants across the state, that's not the case. Public servants, they work hard, and I think they work harder now than they did when I first started about 26 years ago. So you're going to work after hours, are you, today, to do that? I don't believe that I am working. I just believe that I'm part of a team doing something. And the reward is I go home at night feeling very happy with what my day's been. I just love my job. See you later, girls. See ya. If you want opportunities, if you want to expand, you want to grow, you want to have experience a lot of different facets of life, go and work for the public service.